blowy and it's bleak and it's Scotland in the autumn. It's exactly what I'd expected. Really, really hope I've not got to cross that because I think I have. I'm just going to say it, this trail really is feeling like one of them trails that maybe I should have turned back on. And no, I'm not talking about everything under my kilt, although that's quite free and easy at the minute anyway. I'm talking about the freedom to do what you want in terms of overnighting, van lifing and wild camping. The only country in the UK where it's virtually legal. And because it's legal, it just makes the whole scene up here absolutely amazing. Not only do you not, on the most part, get bothered from anybody because it's just accepted up here, but where you can overnight up here is for the most part absolutely stunning. There's a million and one beautiful park ups in this country and they leave you in areas that are equally amazing to explore. And that's why I'm back up here to explore more of this amazing country. I'm hoping on this trip to be heading over over to the islands to areas that we've never been to before but to be honest we're in an area at the minute where we have been before but there's a major reason for it we've got some unfinished business here let's get on the road and i'll explain a little bit more you see we're in an area at the minute called moffat and we came down here a couple of weeks ago and when i came down here i found an amazing legendary car camping spot that i really want to try and use and hopefully can tonight but on top of that, we came down to see the Grey Mares waterfall and a number of you guys mentioned to me that there's a huge lock at the top of it. I did know about it, but I just basically didn't have time to go and explore it when we were here before. So here we are today. I'm gonna get up there, try and explore this lock. There's a couple of peaks I wanna try and hit and then fingers crossed, we can get this legendary overnighting spot for the night. It should be good and it starts us in a really good position for the rest of the trip. Oh, good news, we're at the spot. I think it's worth checking out while we're here, if I'm honest. This spot looks amazing. When I drove past it a few weeks ago, I just had the need to come back up and park here for the night. Sheep, a little river. Oh, mate, I might even get away with a barbecue or something up here. Oh, wow, it's not the best for parking and moving around, though. Damn. But, yeah, we're in. No guarantee I'm going to be able to get this spot tonight, if I'm honest. Last time I drove past it twice and there was somebody always parked here, so fingers crossed for now. Let's go stretch your legs a little bit, eh? First one of the trip. It's got to be a brain, eh? Oh, didn't seem too overly wet. Yes, it did. Oh, wow, mate. Look at it. It's blowy and it's bleak. And it's Scotland in the autumn. It's exactly what I'd expected. The colours are amazing. The weather's intense. Oh, yeah, man. And I'm fully prepped. Already done in the kilt. We'll see how many days I can wear this. It's a little bit breezy, but yeah, so far so good. Should say actually, be as it is autumn, I have come a little bit more prepared. I've got myself a brand new poncho. Looks a pretty good one. Uh, 9.99 on Amazon. No, it's 30 quid, but it should do the job. And I've managed to waterproof a couple of pairs of trousers. One pair, so, and only a little bit, so. I don't know how waterproof they'll be. I should have brought the bloody cam with me. I could have done it on the road extra, but hey ho, I didn't, did I? So I'm probably gonna get soggy as we go along, but who cares, man? We're here. What a spot. I'm so psyched. It was a real, real mission to get up here. I'm gonna hold my hands up. I've been organizing stuff for days. If you follow the channel, I'm gonna be building the keir up when I get back from this trip and I've had to organise everything for it before I left. Well, I literally stayed up all night organising stuff, got two hours sleep mid-morning, and then organised, loading up the crib, getting the ears lowered and everything for this trip, 
and then last night drove up here. It was a good drive to be honest. Four and a half hours, not too bad on the time scale, but bloody hell, the weather was windy as heck. The rock, the car was literally like rocking from side to side. Really difficult to stay in the lane. And I thought it was me because I was tired. And then I was watching other cars do the same in front of me. So when I landed in that spot at two o'clock this morning, yeah, it was pretty chuff. Wow, this trail is steep. <laughs> I gotta tell you, really does make me realize how much sitting on my ass I've done for the past two weeks. Always when I come away on these trips, like first day or two, it's like, whoa, I need to get back into it and then I'm strong again. But hey ho, the Grey Mares waterfall in all its glory. I'd love to be able to get close to it, but yeah, you can't. Down there, some landslide from years ago, and yeah, the trail totally cut off. We did, however get some nice drone shots of it on the last trip here so hey hey let me show you those for a second Wow, this thing looks like it's got some immense force. A couple of dipping pools here and there along the way, but I'm not sure you'd want to get in them even like with the weather, but with the force of that water, it'd bloody knock you out. Good news though, I think it's the last one and then we're nearly at the lock, so. It's a nice hike. It's been a nice hike up. Beautiful, stunning views in the background. Happy days, mate. Out in the wilds again, you know. Really good, really good. And to be honest, when I say out in the wilds for this trip, I really, really am hoping we can get a bit lost into it. The things I've got planned and the places I want to go are really far gone. And with the weather and the time of year that it is, yeah, it should be the icing on the cake for a pretty epic adventure over the next few weeks. Oh, wow. I'm just bumbling along the trail trying to get to the lock and then all of a sudden, check the intro it gives you. Keep on the sideline, a gushing old river. Really, really hope I've not got across that, because I think I have. And then, da -da, boom, the lock. Pretty stunning, and not a soul around here. Only moi. Wicked. Lock Sheen, it's cold. And I'm really glad we got up here. It looks real nice. I'm just looking. I know. I know I've got to go over that. There's no way I can get over that. Wow. I'm a little bit speechless. It's just an amazing moment, really, the start of this trip. I'm so psyched for it and what's going to come forward. And to be here now, yeah, it's pretty special, to be honest. What's not special is trying to get over there somewhere. I think we're supposed to be heading up that thing. Oh, my days. There's no way I can get over this river without getting drenched. Let's just do it. Feet are going to get wet, but uh, I don't think I need my boots for another two days, so might give them a chance to dry out. I'm either going for it or I'm not. And this is kind of what this trip's about. Pushing myself. Fuck it, let's go. I don't think this is a good idea. I've got a drone in my bag and all. Got it. Uh, I don't want my kilt getting wet. Oh, f it. Feet are in, mate. Feet are in. Let's just go. Wow, wet through. Just don't want to slip. Damn it. Aye. Fuck it. Whoa. Damn. Fuck. Yeah. Given hindsight, I probably could have took my shoes off there, but hey, I, we didn't. And they are wet inside. Damn it. Oh well, we move on. Alright, let's see how much water's inside. Oh my god. Ah, oh, damn it. Ugh. Yeah, a little bit. Not too bad. They're not the best. 
Oh well. Yeah, good job I'm waterproof in terms of skin. Damn it, cross that river trying to stay dry and got wet. And now the rain's coming in. Time for the poncho. Let's hope this 30 quid thing does its job. Damn, game on then. I knew it was going to get real on this trip. I didn't think it was going to be this bloody early. Crying out loud. All right, let's see if we can find the trail. We're in no man's land. There's no one up here, man. Just me, dude. No other mad souls. You do. Damn. I'm not sure how often this time of year this trail's uh, trodden. Oh, mate. Don't sink. Oh, I'm so wary. It's Scotland. You could end up waist deep in a bog here. Good news, though. The rain's stopped a little bit. And the mist rolling in. What an area, mate. Bit nippy, because I'm a bit wet, but whew, stunning. Good times. Ah, oh, crap, from good to bad, mate. I've lost a trail, I'm miles out. Well, not miles out, but a good 10 minute back that way to find a trail I should have took. Oh, yeah, it's starting to blow away as well. Oh, 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 that were deep, that were deep. Oh, mate. You got my feet are already wet, innit? Oh, bloody hell. Intense find this trail. I've got to be honest, quite surprised I missed this trail. But, uh, yeah, where? Oh, this is a nightmare, mate. Bushwhacking like a madman now. We should have turned back. Oh my God, we didn't. Welcome to Scotland. <laughs> Don't put your foot in that. God, we're in a world of pain here. This ain't good. <sighs> good news. There's another river crossing with no bridge. Legend, mate. These are mental trails. Aye, aye, aye. See if we can find a good spot to cross. Ah, oh, straight through it, mate. No bother. Got wet feet again, but hey ho. Oh, bit precarious. There's loads of slippy rocks. Good news. I think that's the last river. I hope. Wow. I'm just going to say it. This trail really is feeling like one of them trails that maybe I should have turned back on. This poncho is like and cumbersome to walk with as well. It's not comfortable. It does the job, but well, I think it does. Apart from that, look, it's not long enough. It don't go over your arms. I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. <sighs> yeah, it's difficult to walk in. Talking to which. Oh. Let's keep moving. Oh, that one's not too bad. Oh shit. Man, this is not good. This is not a trail. I need to start cutting back. This is bad news. I'm in a ditch. Oh, mate. Crap. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Oh man. I don't know what's going on with this trail. Whoever put this one together is one of them idiots, mate. It ain't a trail. There's nothing here, look. Just bushwhacking. I'm drained. This is not good. I don't know what I'm doing. Right, I've got to be honest. I'm just having a look at the trail app at the minute. It's five o'clock. We've got a good couple of hours, possibly three hours worth of light, maybe not. But the way the trail is at the minute, it's miles. And on this terrain, it really is going to take me hours. It took me an hour to get from that lock and like it's just no distance on the actual trail I'm doing. So I think I'm going to make an executive decision. This could take another five hours at this pace. So I'm going to try and cut back towards the crib across. I don't know what sort of freaking terrain here, mate. No trail and possibly knee deep, waist deep bog. Fingers crossed. The river's over there. You've got to sort of get to it. And then I think I'm on, on par to where I need to be. From there, it's going to cut up with the actual trail that goes like all the way over, all the way up, and then all the way around the backside, and then cuts back round. So <sighs> this one got real, man. Freaking hey, first day of Scotland. Bloody hell! I was I, I was expecting a normal trail here, but it's not, is it? We're a little bit unprepared. Well, good news. Only two little river crossings, one here, one there, and then my trail's over there. 
I don't know, just the problem with this land is like, you have to go so slowly with it, because one moment you can just put your foot down and it just goes, and you could break an ankle or something, it's dead simple, so, mate, it beat us, got it. Shrouded and cloud though, we wouldn't have had the views. It has been a mad little day out though, hopefully. I'm not gonna get too wet getting back to the, uh, the trail. Let's go. Ah, kind of getting used to getting my feet in water now. Do you not? Whoa! Do you know what I mean? Bollocks. Oh, no, I'm not. Still hurts. Still nasty. Bollocks. Oh, I was hoping I could get through it without having to take my boots off again to drain them, but no. Oh well, let's do this next river first. Bloody hell. Whoa! Fast moving here. I hope we don't get bloody washed away. Whoa, yeah. Damn, man. Ugh. Oh, we're in. Christ. Back on the trail. Right. I'm going to dry my socks off and all that. And then get back to the crib. Hopefully this rain that's starting don't come in too ever. Oh, all my days. That's a nice sight. Come to Papa. Oh, a nightmare. Oh, I'm just getting everything ready to go. Oh, I've just caught that. Look at it. Got it, mate. Oh, man, if I pull it, it's all going to rip off and it won't clip back in, look. Oh, maybe it will. No, it won't. Oh, it does. Ah, that's good news. I thought I was going to have to do an on-the-road repair job with some super glue or something, but, yeah, I still might, to be honest. Good news as well, the weather's died down a little bit. It's a bit more, more mild down here and not so heavy. That poncho... Yeah, it's okay, but my arms are wet through and the zip on it's not very tight. It's a bit of a flimsy one. I think it's going to rip at some point. It's difficult to tie and hold together, but and it doesn't have a peak. I really need to get a waterproof coat with a peak, but there are about 100 boys, the decent ones, that are proper waterproof. So, yeah, that's why I got a 30 quid poncho. Hey, hey, let's not worry about it. Let's worry about trying to get this spot. I, I really don't think I'm going to be able to get it. I think someone will be there, but let's find out. Well, all fingers and toes crossed, and the verdict is no, someone else is here. Shit, oh, that sucks. So what? I'm gonna bag it as well. This is too good a spot not to share. <laughs> Let's be fair. Ah, oh, well, you know, it is what it is, eh? Still a great spot. Oh, right, for now, I need to feed the belly. Let me get the crib set up and we can get some food on. I've got a really good one for tonight. Oh, just hope we don't burn it. Ah, time for feasting. And already a beaming smile on my face for the simple reason that I know tonight's meal has the potential for being a success because we've got all the ingredients and it's gonna be fresh. Reason being, it's because it's a Hello Fresh. Mate, I'm loving these. If you're not aware of Hello Fresh, essentially what it is is a home delivery service for your meals on a weekly basis. You can go onto their app or their website and choose between a massive selection of meals in a various amount of ranges, such as vegetarian, calorie smart, family favorites, and my personal favorite, the street food range. And then every week it's delivered to your door with all freshly picked produce and a meal card with instructions on how to cook it. Hey ho, thank goodness I've got that. And I've got to be honest, it has been fantastic. We've been having it for a few months now. I don't know about you guys, but like when we do our shopping on a weekly basis, we pretty much buy the same thing every week, near as damn it, unless we see something, ooh, that looks unusual on the aisle there, let's try that this week type thing. To have the time and the effort to decide on different fancy meals and then go around the shopping mall picking up all the little separate ingredients, let alone come the cost at the end of it, yeah, it, it just doesn't happen. So to have HelloFresh, where you can get all these fancy foods. And don't get me wrong, they have classics. We have had burgers with truffles and caramelized onion. Yeah, they put a fancy flavor on everything they do. But it's just been brilliant because we've been able to have those meals with those fancy little ingredients and such. And I have to worry about the hassle of it. And I've got to tell you, in terms of cost, seriously, it's very, very comparable. At the minute, they've got an offer on which if you click or scan the QR code here, that'll take you straight to it. Or you can click the link in the description. It's 60% off your first box and then 25% off all your boxes thereafter for three months. Honestly, go even just look at it, check it out, do your maths. 
that three month off is well worth taking up you're going to get a lot of savings on your shopping i should say as well one last thing about it is like it's weird i actually enjoy cooking the meals I don't know, I mean, normally I'll just shove a pizza and fries in or boil some spuds up for mash or whatever and leave it running. But with this, you can kind of get together with it and cook it together. I've cooked it with the kids, I've cooked it with sidekick Bob and such, and yeah, it's just a nice thing to do, prepping it all and cooking a nice evening meal after you've been to the grind or something, you know? Talking of which, tonight's meal now we have had fancy things don't get me wrong we have had steaks we have had fishes and such and all that but tonight i couldn't resist it i just wanted to feast my belly check this out pulled pork smeared over wedges with cheese sour cream and just uber tastic flavors this one is going to be a good one and good news i've managed because it uses one to secure and fix a small oven in the front of the car wink wink nudge nudge in front of the uh, passenger seat so i'm going to do most of the condiments in here and then i'll stick the main shittings in the oven to cook thereafter you know but on a serious level oh mate i really hope this one turns out all right because yeah this is going to really feed my belly right having read the end of the world destructions on this one i think we may have bitten off a little bit more than we can chew now in all seriousness it doesn't sound too bad it's basically wedges and meat and then while that's cooking we prep all the sauces and condiments for the top should be all right let's make life easier and get these wedges into a little bowl early doors with a little sneaky drizzle of oil on them and oh no, wrong one and ah uh, yeah some himalayan mountain salt gotta love this stuff oh brilliant what a great invention although i'm pr pretty sure it wasn't invented you know what i mean though and then those wedges whoa along with that meat and a little bit of foil on top are going to go straight in the oven oh, i don't know how long for about 40 minutes i think oh this is proper mate i feel like i should be wearing a chef hat for this thing anyway let's do the next bit right well that's cooking in the front seat in the oven it's on with the condiments starting with shallots apparently i was just supposed to slice them because now i'm going to take something from the pantry food box and add that to a bowl oh about four tablespoons oh, i don't know that looks all right doesn't it maybe a little more and then these shallots are supposed to just bosh in there and we're going to coat them with flour hey most of them are supposed to go in not all of them it does help oh this is going to get right mocky paws at least it's not jizz there oh that's kind of cool i like the sensation Woo right and then apparently we've got to fry them off but we need to test with a sizzler is it sizzling yeah that will do man we're going in with a lot for about two to four minutes Pretty sure I didn't want to put all that flour in. Oh well. Oh mama, there's a lot of smoke coming off that. I'm saying they're about done, you know. Let's not overcook them. We can always put them in again later if we need be. Mate, they look pretty cool though. They're proper little crunchy crouton shallotty things. Oh mate, those things are done and oh, I've taken the liberty of prepping the avocado sort of salad thing that goes on top. Wicked, mate. But we're in the realms of a disaster here. If we don't get all this done ASAP, yeah, it's, it's not going to work out. So in with a bit of oil to the frying pan, you know. If I'm honest, everything's cooked and I just need to get this done, smear it on the meat, and then we can serve it all up. Oh, this is looking good. I can't wait. All right, apparently we go in with the garlic. Oh, because it always sticks in the bloody bowl, you know. Uh. And then we're going with a bit of mud Mexican spice. Oh, I really hope it's not too spicy. Oh my days, that looks red and dangerous. Red's always danger. And hey ho, Ugh, let's add some more <laughs> with a tummy puree. Apparently that's got a stir and a fry for one minute. Oh my god. Yeah, the oil's all over the bloody one side of the pan, isn't it? Yeah, that's happening. Oh mate. Night there. Right, apparently we've got a splodge of water in there as well. Oh my days. Yeah, that looks good. Bloody Nora. Oh ho, for the effect. Oh mate, we just entered the realms of Tina Turner. Proper steamy windows. Got it. Look at this smoke. Mental. Oh God. Another bloody fire brigade up here in a minute. Well, I've got to be honest, this is looking amazing. Even better now, I've just added the red jelly stuff that was supposed to go in there. Oh, mate. Ugh, sorry. Right, apparently... Oh, 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 my mind, there's no way I'm messing with this one. Look, I'm just doing it as I'm doing it. It is what it is, and it's in there. Oh, that looks so good. I probably could have thickened that up a little bit more, if I'm honest. But hey-ho, I didn't. 
Right, I think from what I can gather, ha, oh, that's hot. It's wedges first. I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? During, the, yeah, during to the picture, and then it's the old meat ski on top. Oh yeah, mate. Oh yeah. Oh, we're feasting tonight, don't you know? And then cheese. Oh yeah. There. What? Oh, ashings of cheese. Cause we all love cheese. Oh mate, that looks so good already. We don't even finished yet. Then. Oh, wait, they'll go aside for fanciness and a bit of that bad boy on top, i.e., all of it. Oh my god, yes, this is just a ledge of wedge of food, and then sprinkle our crunchy salots on top, mate. There's no way I'm eating all that. Uh, I think I could do with like a massive spoon for this as well. I don't know, how I'm gonna taste it and test it. Oh, it just looks amazing. Mmm, that is so good. It's like pulled pork with your wedges, but then because it's got the avocado and the salad on top, oh, it just makes for such a good flavour. That is definitely one of the best tasting meals I've cooked in the crib in a long time. Wow. For now, though, I'm going to munch it, and I'll have a catch you in a bit. I'll catch you in the morning. Looks pretty similar to the picture, huh? Yeah, mine actually looks better. And I remember the sour cream. Good news. What a day and what a place to wake up in. It's windy as bow, but oh, it's beautiful. That sun keeps coming out from behind the clouds every now and again, and it's just what a place to wake up in. So lucky, man. I had an absolute amazing night's sleep last night, and I really needed it with the lack of sleep and all the stuff I've been doing to try and get ready for this trip. Last night was perfect. 11 hours, I think, I slept for. Probably could have done a couple more, but... And then waking up this morning with the sun beaming through the windows. Oh yeah, what a day. And I'm honestly beaming because I'm going to be doing something today with the crib that I've never done before. And it feels weird. It almost feels like I'm going abroad, but obviously I'm not. But I am going to be getting on my first ever ferry. I'm going over to a place called Androsa. And then I'm going to be getting the ferry over to Broderick and the island of Arran. I'm going to hold my hands up. I was a little bit worried last night when I got a text message from the ferry service telling me that the early morning ferry today had been cancelled and had been rescheduled for 8.30, which blew my mind because I'd booked the 8.30 ferry anyway, but was worrying, thinking like the ferries might get cancelled. This whole trip is reliant on the weather. I've got four ferries to catch to get to the actual island I want to get to, and any of those ferries could get cancelled. I've just got my fingers crossed, and if it does, well, we play it by ear. Well, here's a bit of a mad one then. Look at the gods, don't you know? I opened my boot this morning, didn't I? And uh, just to dry some bits out, forgot to take the cover out, and it blew away. I've only just realised. Let me show you where I found it. Uh, up this hill. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. It was flapping and stuck to that gate over there. I can't believe it, mate. Look how windy it is. It could have gone forever, but it didn't. It lives. Oh, I should say as well, the boots. I've had massive amounts of tissue in there all night stuffed in, and inside the boots, pretty dry. The only bit that's a little bit wet at the minute is this top sort of section, but I don't know, maybe I can stuff some tissue at the top just to suck it up. I use kitchen roll, absolutely brilliant. Just sucks up all the moisture and they're completely dry inside. Uh, yeah, that's slowly getting there. The socks, <laughs> they're dead. I've got to be honest, yesterday's hike was insane. I cannot believe within five minutes type thing of crossing that river, we was just in an absolute world of pain. And I watched Wild Bear last night, one of her episodes, and she had a similar thing happen to her in similar terrain. I don't know where she was, but she spent like hours trying to do a few hundred meters. And that was pretty much where I was at yesterday. That ground's just, it's not for humans. You don't need to go near it. And it's why you never see sheep on it. They were up on the hill, out the bloody way. But we live and learn. We've got a few more of them ones to come on this trip, I can guarantee you. But for now, 
I think this is going to be the best point to end this one. Wakey, mate. We're in Scotland and we're living the dream. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, all the good stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series and definitely hit me in the comments. And a big love to everybody who watches the channel. Like, subscribes and comments. And a massive big love to all donators on PayPal. Buy me a coffee and channel members are like. Seriously, guys, without you, and this would not be happening the way it is, believe. But for now, it's a little bit of editing and then it's a drive over to the ferry, mate. As always, Take it easy, enjoy the camp, and stay stealthy. All right.